What is going on guys? Welcome to today's episode. We are getting ready to go to the gym. It is 2.30 p.m. I've already gotten in three meals and today we are doing an arm workout. So um, what I'm doing today for my pre-workout, I'm doing one scoop of Total War which, if you don't know, is Redcon 1's pre-workout that has caffeine in it. It has about 350 milligrams of caffeine. It also has six grams of citrulline malate, beta alanine, taurine, you know, the basics. And then I uh, put in two scoops of Big Noise. Big Noise is a pump product. It's a glycerol product. Um, yeah, so if you've tried anything that has like glycer pump in it, it's similar to that. It has three, gl three grams of glycerol in it and no caffeine in that. Usually I do only one scoop, but I saw that the hypertrophy coach, Joe Bennett, he does two scoops of it. So I'm gonna try it out and see just how it, uh, see how it feels. So. Um, yeah, I've got two scoops of big noise in here just to give it a shot and we'll see what's up. But yeah, like I said, doing arms today, working on that, and uh, weighed in at 258 today, which, um, you know, if you know how my weekend was, you'd probably realize that that is bloat leaving my body. I weighed 262 yesterday. And I did still feel a little bit bloated. Today my shins, today I feel like my shins and my feet are, you know, a lot drier. So, um, yeah, that, and I feel like my face is a little drier, so. And I've been peeing a lot lately. So that's what's up. That's uh, the reason for all that. What do you guys think of this camera? This is a different camera than what I usually use. This is a camera, this is a, Canon 70D, I haven't used it in a long time. <clears throat> the benefit of it is that it does have a very, very wide angle lens, if you couldn't tell. Um, and it has the ability to use an external microphone on it. So I'm sure the audio is going to sound much, much better in this video than any of the past videos that I've done in a long time. So I thought, yeah. Might as well try this out again, see uh, see what you guys think. I like the Osmo Pocket that I've been using. It's great for in-gym scenarios, but I'm getting kind of sick of the microphone on it, you know? It's just, it, it's a little too echoey and a little, a little too, uh, yeah, just, it, it just doesn't, it doesn't sound good enough to me. I mean, it gets, it gets the job done, it gets the point across, but, you know, I mean, when I'm here at home filming something, why not use something that can give you guys good audio where I do most of my talking? So, um, yeah, I just wanted to give this a try. Anyways, I'm going to go do an arm workout, buys and tries. And then I got to take Laura to the airport because she's going to Michigan for the weekend and I'm going to be home alone to... Do nothing. I'm gonna watch football all day tomorrow and eat all my meals and sleep and watch football. I already said that, and I'm gonna work out. So that's what's going on. She gets back Monday from that. By the way, guys, if you uh, if you haven't liked the video yet, you better hit that thumbs up button because uh, it helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Gets my video shown to more people. Do it for the algorithm. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Either way, it helps the video get seen. So go ahead, give it whatever rating you want. Don't be a ghost and do nothing. And if you want to help the algorithm out even more, leave a comment. I don't even care if you just leave a comment that says for the algorithm. Do that, just put in there for the algorithm. And I know that's like a that's like a double like, so go ahead and do that. That's uh, that'd be a real serious. That's a, that's another way to support the channel. Just comment for the algorithm if you don't have anything else to say, um, and uh, yeah, leave a thumbs up. And then if you really want to support the channel, go to Redcon1.com, buy some product because this stuff is a shit. All right. 
That's gone. Time to get my intro workout together. <clears throat> We're gonna do four ounces of pomegranate juice. Pomegranate juice at four ounces a day can reduce the plaque buildup in your arteries. Huge, huge deal. It has to be 100% pomegranate juice. Let me read you the results from people. So just put pomegranate juice. So if you wanna look this up, look up pomegranate juice and plaque, put it into Google, and you will come up with uh, some studies showing reductions at 13%, 22%, 26%, and 35% reductions in plaque at months three, six, nine, and 12. So using just four ounces a day for 12 months will reduce the plaque in your arteries by about 35%. And that's just this, that's if you're just doing this. If you're getting vitamin K2, you know, vitamin D, doing that whole thing, it's gonna help even more. So, you know, for us, when we're taking stuff that greatly increases our LDL, triglycerides, our liver enzymes, you know, um, do everything you can to prevent plaque buildup, artery calcification, so that you don't die of a heart attack. That's what's up. If you're using Tren, you better be drinking pomegranate juice. All right, then we've got Grunt, EAA powder, Tango, which is creatine. This is a mix of creatine monohydrate, creatine HCL, and creatine magna power, so that you get the creatine that you are responsive to, because some people are non-responders to creatine uh, monohydrate and creatine HCL. Some people just aren't responders to it, to one or the other. Usually if they're not one, they, they work with the other. And I mean, I haven't looked into creatine powders in a little while since I've been using this, but I don't think most of them include a bunch of different creatine mixes in their products. So this is a great mix. And then we're gonna throw in Breach. Breach is a hydrating BCAA powder. So it just gets me even more amino acids, but it's the branch chain amino acids. But it also includes coconut water powder, glycerol, and taurine glycerol is another, well, glycerol is the same thing that is in Big Noise. Um, so we get even more glycerol out of this. We get coconut water powder to help hydrate us better. And then there's more taurine in this. Taurine helps prevent with those terrible back pumps that I was talking about in another video. So um, it helps, but it doesn't erase it completely. So um, that's why we use this. And then I'm gonna throw some water in this real quick. And then we're gonna Oh, about to drop that. Then we're gonna throw in Cluster Balm. Cluster Balm is our cyclic dextrin. We're just gonna do one scoop of this today because it's arms. And my arms aren't that big. Maybe it's because I only do one scoop of dextrose. <clears throat> but they're not that big muscle. Not that big of muscles, so we don't need that much carbs, in my opinion. Now, leg day or back day, I do two scoops. All right, guys. That is that. I wish Redcon 1 made bigger shaker bottles. If any of you work for Redcon 1, could you get on that, please? I would prefer a 45 ounce shaker. This is a 25 ouncer. All right, we are good to go. So um, yeah, I will see you when I see you. I don't know if it'll be in the gym or wherever. By the way, yes, I am stupid. It is 36 degrees outside here. I'm wearing this. But I gotta support, I gotta support Redcon, it's what I do. They take care of me, I take care of them. By wearing their shit. This thing has fuzzies all over it. And girl hair. I saw some guy's Instagram, 
who was 255 and he was wearing a 4X. I was like, really? 4X? I mean, it was big on him. I'm not there yet. I'm, I must be too fat for that. <laughs> All right. Out of here. 8.01 p.m. What's up guys, I am home from taking Laura to the airport. It's about seven o'clock right now. And we are getting a meal in. Number five. All right guys, so I'm getting this meal put together. And so yeah, I already covered the pomegranate thing to help uh, lower, <clears throat> to help reduce plaque in your arteries. The other thing um, that that's related to is blood pressure. And you know, I've, I've talked about blood pressure a lot on my channel. Um, it's something that is very important to me to focus on for myself as I've had high blood pressure in the past. But I've been getting asked, you know, what is my like, you know, number one, number two kind of top things to focus on if my blood pressure starts creeping up or if I have blood, high blood pressure, are there, thir are there certain things that I should be doing? The number one thing that I would say you want to fix first or make sure is as good as possible is your sleep. Make sure you can get your sleep to be as perfect as possible, as good as you can get it and be sleeping at least six hours a night. If you are this size, if you are a bigger guy, you know, 240, 250, 260, whether you're fat or muscular and lean, you probably have some sort of sleep apnea issue. It is gonna be very rare for you not to have a sleep apnea issue being that big. Now, if you snore at all, if you snore a little bit, that's an issue. That is that is at least some sort of mild form of sleep apnea. Now, that can affect your sleep greatly because that's, that's inhibiting the amount of oxygen that you can breathe in on a breath. You have to work harder to breathe when you're snoring. Now, to fix that issue, the number one way to fix that problem is get a CPAP machine. Get a CPAP, an auto-set CPAP machine. They're everywhere now. They're easy to buy yourself. You don't have to go through a doctor to get it. You don't need a doctor to set it up. It's very simple to figure out. There are plenty of guides online to walk you through how to set one up and get it set properly for you. You don't have to spend the money and schedule the time to do a stupid sleep study. And I don't recommend you do a sleep study anyway, unless you have a non-obstructive form of sleep apnea. Like that's a little more serious, but yeah, I don't suggest you go in and get a sleep study and wait to do it all through your insurance because it can take a long time to get that scheduled and get in to do it. And then it can take even longer for your CPAP machine to show up or get your CPAP machine from them. Like it's just, from what I've heard, it's a process and it's not a very quick process. So I highly recommend either going on Craigslist and buying a CPAP machine or going to secondwindcpap.com and picking up a one there. You do not need a prescription to buy a CPAP machine. I believe, I, I think I heard Stan say in a video that you can buy them at Walmart now. Like they have um, very good machines available to buy at Walmart. I don't know that for sure, um, but that's what he said. You know, I, I'm only taking his word for it, but even if you can't find it there, it is so easy to just order one online and it'll be to you within the week and you can figure out how to set it up online. There's sleep apnea forums on, you know, just Google that sleep apnea forum and you'll find a forum online where people 
are dealing with what you're dealing with and you know people have figured out how to set these up like that's what I did I, I had no idea how to set it up I l just looked online learned how to do it you know if someone like me if some meathead like me can figure it out you can figure it out so don't think that you need to go to a doctor to solve this problem if you've you also you got to do is come up with about 300 to 500 dollars to buy your CPAP machine your mask get all that set up and get going with it. I've made videos in the past on this, but that's the number one thing I think that is screwing with people's blood pressure. So, you know, the other thing is having a lot of plaque in your arteries that can increase your blood pressure. Having not enough potassium in your diet can screw up your blood pressure. That's why they, that's why in the vertical diet we recommend 4,700 milligrams per day preferably from from real food from whole food i mean use the whole like powder like i've used it in the past and yet helped out a little bit but doing it with real food is way more effective it's it's more absorbable i feel and it it's just, it's, it's a more healthy option to do it because if you're focusing on getting 4,700 milligrams of potassium from real food, you have to pick good foods to eat, okay? If you are struggling to do that, then you're not eating enough good food. You're eating too much bullshit. You need to swap that shit out for some fruits, some vegetables, and some meats, and it'll solve your problem. So those are the things that I recommend you look into if you're having blood pressure issues. And all the while doing that, go buy yourself some Carditone off Amazon. Carditone, I, I don't use it anymore, but I jumped on it right away. It helped lower my blood pressure a little bit while I was focusing on doing all these other things to help get my blood pressure down. But now that it's good, I don't have to worry about it and I don't take Carditone anymore. That's what's up. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. That's some of the things I've been getting asked more recently that, yeah, I just, you know, I've talked about it before, but you know what? I'm gaining about 500 of you guys a month in new subscribers, and, you know, that's 500 people that probably didn't hear it from one of my older videos. So that's what's up. That's what I felt like I needed to share with you guys today. So thank you so much for watching. Thanks for coming back to my channel. If you're not subscribed and watching this, please subscribe now. That's all I got for you. Thank you so much for your support. Remember, nobody cares. Train harder. And I will see you all Monday.